fishes. So we're going to start out with this pink lemonade from Brit Brat Nailed It. I got it right this time. And this is pink lemonade. We're going to hope that I've got everything in frame. We're working on this. We're getting better. We're going to do better. So, uh, I believe I said on my last live that I was out of swatch sticks. I'm still out of swatch sticks, but um, you know what? Like I said, people can gripe about Enel Couture's scoops and all the tips they got, but not I. Because look at this, Maxistrata coming in clutch. I made my own swatch stick. And all this is is a little sticky tab from the nails that you nail tabs on a on a cuticle stick and voila so now this is pink lemonade and this is what I want y'all to see about uh, Brit Brett's product this is what I'm talking about folks okay this is a t nail tip that has the gold flecks in it that way whenever you're done with it you've got gold flakes in it on the underneath but um, now, I'm applying this generously. Don't get me wrong. I'm not doing it thin, but with that being said, uh, that is one coat. And I'm going to turn it upside down and let it level. Look at that. Wow. Look at that shine. Okay. So that is pink lemonade. <clears throat> We're gonna put it in the cooker. Now, her products say on the back of her bottles, it says one to two minutes. So I'm gonna do um, the 90 seconds for the swatching. Uh, if I was doing this on nails, I would do the full two minutes just to be on the safe side. Uh, this is Lime Light, and again, I don't know if I said it in the beginning, this is from the Bratz in Paradise Collection. There are nine, nine in the collection, make sure I'm in frame here, and they are all bright summery. I wouldn't say that they are neons but they're kind of close. They're not neons in the traditional like fluorescent, but they are very bright and I love them. Um, I wanted these first. I ended up getting the cat's eye gel because I hit a TikTok live and she had a really good deal. So I went ahead and got the cat's eye gel first from Brit Brett. Nailed it her cat's eye collection which by the way is just now going up on her website before she was only doing them during TikTok lives special kind of deal but she's gonna list them on her website now so um, they are also very jelly but they are one coat coverage if you want them a little bit less see-through you can use two coats three coats you probably couldn't see through it look at that look at that oh my gosh and it self levels that's one now I'm not, you know, I'm not gooping it on there. It's a general, it's a generous first coat. But yeah. Loving it. And I love this. So this is the pink lemonade and that's the limelight. So when my oldest was 10, 12, she wouldn't paint a room. Okay? So this was the color of this girl's room. Um, the paint we used was called, the paint, the green paint was a little darker than that. It was called Banana Boat Green. And then the other one was a little bit darker than this. It was Fuchsia Fizz. And that was that child's bedroom for a long time. So we're going to put the limelight in there, cook it. I'm going to roll, um, lay those up there. I don't know if we can see them or not, but that's, that was limelight. Limelight. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving on now. I've seen the girls, the bratty crew, use this um, in their sets. This is called Cheeky Cherry. And it is in the red family. It's not quite orange, though. It's got 
It's a red leaning orange. I, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. And like I said, I am putting it on a little thicker, not like, but I'm not I'm not putting it on super thick. We're gonna break off the excess, but here's the deal. And I chose these tips because you see that they've got the gold glitter in them. And you put that on, and you're not seeing that now. Like, if you held it a certain way, I'm sure you could. But um, I'm like this. You're using less product because it's one coat coverage. Um, it's not thin, but it's not super thick. It's a consistency that I like. It's And like I said, when you turn her over, she self-levels. So that's Cheeky Cherry. We're going to put that in there. Limelight's not quite done. So we're going to leave that in there for now. Okay, let's do, the next one is Sun Kissed. Now, um, these are 15 milliliter bottles. Ooh, I don't know, folks. I was going to say tan, but she's kind of a little uh, orange, orange, orangey. Like a, uh, the, well, I'm going to show my age here. You know the, uh, when the ice cream truck used to come when we were kids? And the orange sickle that was in, like, the colorful toilet tissue tube. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. It was in a cardboard tube. Um, that was a lot more orange than this, but if you lightened it out, I don't know. It's still not that bright, but this is giving me orange sickle vibes. And see, you can see, like, through that, but I didn't put it on super thick look at that now oh, okay so we're going to turn her over that sun kissed i don't know it's kind of a tan but it's an orange leaning tan no it's just it's a light orange that's what i'm seeing now somebody else may see something different and that's okay yeah, I'm liking that. I'm hoping I'm... There we go. I think I was out. But that's okay. We're getting there, folks. <clears throat> okay, so that is the limelight. All right. Look at the shine. Okay. And then this is Cheeky Cherry. Cheeky Cheeky Cherry. I love the names. You know, because we all love fun names. Okay, so... We're going to go on to... <clears throat> the next one is a violet oh no vivid violet vivid violet okay she's a light purple she's not light though she's not a lavender I don't know what to call it not quite a purple purple dark purple not a grape ape purple well mm, does anybody remember gargamel off of um strawberry shortcake once again and dating myself but yes it reminds me of gargamel purple and if you know you know and if you don't google that shit up the more you know okay i'm just like i said i i really 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 like this product the consistency so pretty vivid violet Okay. All right. I think that our orange or sun kissed is done. Now there's something there, but that's that's the, uh, well I got it on there too thick. See, I didn't let it cure long enough. Let me put it back in there. I don't think it's going to help it. Now that was operator error. I don't think that was product, but I did make a couple extra swatch sticks. So let's not get it on there as thick. I am, like I said, um, this is the first time I'm really swatching these out. Now, I'm not going to lie. I got these, of course, and I got them out. I'm like, oh, let me just paint a set, you know, and of course, the next thing you know, four hours later, I've got a set of nails that I've made, which um, I will be posting shorts on them later. I made um, one out of that orange, or not the orange, but the um, lime light and the pink lemonade I made a set out of that together because it's just it reminds me of my kid those two colors together will always be my little girl when she was little because you know 
most people, well, back, most people won't let their kids do crazy crap like that, and I do, because it's just paint. And she just thought she was too cool for school. So we're going to go ahead and put this in there and see if it does a little different. Like I said, operator error. I don't think it's the polish. I don't think it's the gel. I think it's the uh, applier. I got a little heavy-handed and a little too thick. So, and that's, you know, this is, okay, look, I'm talking too much. This is electric line. So, I think the application, just like with anything, there's a learning curve, but my goodness, folks, look at that. Whew. Listen, painting your nails is fun, but when you got something that's bright on your nails, and people, you know, they can't help but see it. Yeah, it's like, oh, I like your nails. And you're like, oh, yes, I know. They're gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to turn her upside down. So that is electric lime. Electric. It's electric. Boogaloo. Yeah, I don't sing well either. I do dance. I don't do that real well either, but I enjoy myself when I dance. All right, we're going to turn her upside down. Put that in there to um, bigger, bigger. Okay, so there's the vivid violet. Okay, vivid violet. See, that one didn't wrinkle because the operator did not put too much on there. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one we've got is electric limon, electric lemon. Now, I can't wait for this one because I have trouble finding yellows that I like and I'm a sunflower girl so I will be having a sunflower set before the summer is over okay now see this one might not be as well no depends on what look you're going for I'm gonna really drag this one out so there's not a lot of paint on here we might do one coat and then go back and do another if we need to but um, I don't know. I don't think we're going to have to. I'm going to pull it. You can see the gold through there. Now, the gold flex. Now, if that's what you want, then that's perfect. But I probably will do a second coat. I'm going to try to get this. I got it too thick a while ago. I always think more is better. More is not always better. Sometimes it's better just to take your time and do it in two, two cures. Anybody that knows me at all knows that I have no patience. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. So, that's why this happens. Whenever I get in a hurry and I think, oh, more is better. Uh, see what happens? Look at that. It did not happen on that. I got a little too much on the other one. A little too much on that um, sun kiss. So, that's operator error. That's no fault of the product. And I'm going to be real straight with you. If it were me and it was my nail, I probably would just put some top coat on there. And that smooths it out. Nobody would be the wiser. But I'm telling the truth because I'm telling you. Because um, somebody new that's starting out will be like, what am I doing wrong? Well, you got it on there too thick. And you didn't wait, um, you know, trying to get it done in a hurry. But that's just Mama L. That's just Lingenia because I have no patience. So that is electric limon, which it's not limon, it's lemon, but I'm extra, as my daughter tells me, my youngest one. So this is the electric lime, and I'm really digging that. I'm really, now I got a little streaky. Once again, that's operator error. I drug the brush through there too much. Okay, we're down to the second to last one. This is Paradise Punch. Now, I may have lied to y'all. The set that I made may have been this Paradise Punch and the pink, not the pink lemon. I'm pretty sure I fibbed. It's Paradise Punch and Limelight that I made the set. It's got a hibiscus on it. Y'all know it when it comes out. It's very bright. Okay. So, Paradise Punch. Oh, it's so pretty. Like I said, I just... I love Brit Brett Nailed It products. I love Brittany. I love her bratty crew. Haley, CC, and the other ones. Uh, there are several, and I'm going to be honest, they just went right out of my head because I didn't write them down, and I should have. 
Um, I see CC and Haley more than I have some of the others just because I of the shift I work, I think, and the times of the day that I'm online. But I always try to show up for Brittany. I may not always be able to buy something, and that's where people make a mistake of, you know, if you can buy something and support somebody, that's great. And if I can show you her product and you're like, oh, I want to try it and I can help her out, that's even better. But sometimes just showing up and just being there, and she's always thanking me. And I do it because, not because I have to, but because I enjoy Brittany and because it does help to have somebody there. So the first few lives I did, you know, I asked my friends and family to be there because you don't want to be by yourself. And I mean, Brittany's got like 10,000 followers and our subscribers now. But still, you know, she's just blown up in the last couple months. And um, I found her whenever uh, she kind of first started taking off again. So I'm glad I could be on board. And if I could support her, support her, I surely will. And that goes for any of her bratty crew. Um, I am not one of her artists, but I am... Uh, gonna say that I'm an honorary brat mama brat we'll just go with that she can tell me if that's not okay so that is electric lime not a, no 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 ma'am electric lemon see I'd be making my own stuff up I was calling her by the wrong name first time for somebody that but I was nervous so I'm a little bit better now so this is turquoise teas now if anybody that watches Brittany knows her favorite color is the pink lemonade, I believe. She likes pink and turquoise. And I know the turquoise teas is one of her favorites. And I'm not going to even tell you. It's one of mine. I, I can agree because I like blue. I'm a blue girl. Well, I'm a, I'm a rainbow girl. Rainbow glitter. If it's got rainbow glitter, I'm going to have it. My sister's wanting to get sister tattoos. And I think I'm getting a rainbow sunflower. It's going to be rainbow with glitter. There are some places, and I don't know where I'm going to have to drive because I live in Poduck, Kentucky, in order to get me one of these rainbow tie-dye sunflowers with the glitter in the tattoo. If anybody knows of a good place that's not too far from Kentucky, let me know. I'm willing to drive at least four or five hours because when I get it done, it's permanent, and I want it to be um, beautiful. And let me tell you something, I love me some rainbow and I love me some glitter, so that's what I'm going to end up getting. Now see, I got a piece of fuzz, so, and I don't even know if it's fuzz. My cat, which if my daughter's Ro Rosa is watching, it ain't even my cat, it's her cat. But she moved a couple years ago, and I inherited the cat, which I don't mind. The cat's a good cat. She wears me out though sometimes, because we have this entire house, but she has to be on my nail table. And I don't even know. I think that's a cat hair, but we're we're gonna go with it. Turn it upside down. <laughs> oh my! Put that in there to cook. Okay. And then we've got this is that paradise punch. And I, I really do think now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's what I made the. Uh, I made it out of the limelight and the uh, paradise punch. And I put I don't have Brittany's matte top, but I use matte. And then I used one of her cat eye jellies on it as well. I'm gonna do my best to link it whenever I get it uploaded. I'm gonna that's I'm trying to do better at my uh, videos and editing and all that good stuff. Um, so that is that. And then when the um, turquoise teas gets done, she also included. Now this was a um, a bonus. She sent me a base coat and a diamond no wipe top coat. Um, so thank you, Miss Brittany. I do appreciate it so, so much because it makes me feel special. But it also, I'm telling you, um, I haven't used the base coat because I do press-ons and I usually don't use a base coat, especially if they're for me because, eh, you know, if it messes up, I'll make more. But this diamond, and I think she's got a, it's going by a different name. She's rebranded Glossy, and I think it's even going to, she may have two of them. I'm going to be real honest. I'm still learning her products. But this is, this is, this is the, what is the, Haley Collett, she's that girl. I mean, 
it's so pretty and you don't have to wipe it I used when I first started out I didn't have no wipe top coat and I'm like after that I'm like what was I thinking because once you use the no wipe top coat there's no no going back okay so let me see if I can line them up we have turquoise tees we have Paradise Punch. We have Electric Lemon. We have Electric Lime. We have Sun Kissed. Yep, that's it right there. Then we have Vivid Violet. And we have ooh, Cherry, Cheeky Cherry. It's like I'm going to lose my. Where I was at, Cheeky Cherry. Then we have Limelight. And then finally we started out with the Pink Lemonade. So, very, very summery. Very pretty collection. Highly recommended. They're 15 milliliters. They're bigger bottles. Um, they are definitely worth the coin that you're going to spend. And I'm going to do a second coat on this This. Uh, this electric lemon just for my curiosity because I can see through that just a little bit I'm not hating it and this is one coat if I did not have the glitter in this uh, nail tip it probably wouldn't need it and it may it, it uh, probably doesn't need it I'm just since we're swatching let's just see the difference but like I said you don't have to use a lot of product so Sometimes when you get the bigger bottles, you have to use more because the product is, I don't know, sometimes they make it to where it's not one coat. I just love a one coat because I I have no patience, as I've said before. So if I can do it in one coat, um, I'm going to want to do it in one coat. And whenever you get into nail art, which I am starting to dabble into that. My daughter last year told me, last she said about six months ago, she's like, Mom, you really need to start doing more than just stickers and rhinestones, which do not get me wrong. I love stickers and rhinestones, but it is next level, you know, uh, starting to use different stuff. So I also um, ordered this and then she, Brittany had a live where she gave away a set of her bridey liners. So I also have the bridey liner, let me turn it around, let me see her bridey liners that she sent to me in this package. And I big shout out to Brittany. Um, once again, I she's always told me how she appreciates me. She has no clue how much I appreciate her. But I tell you what, I really love the fact that, and I have said this before, when I first started watching Donna, um, Donna, I, I knew Donna, I'm sorry, I do this every time. Donna does nails, Donna did it. No, it's Donna does nails, I don't know. I've, it just totally went out of my head. And Latina, and PJ, and Debris Nails, and um, Kat, and all these other people that when I first started watching like encouraged me to start my channel and I still haven't done a whole lot life's been life and um, people are more important than YouTube YouTube is important if it's your job and if you want it to be your full-time thing but I have uh, I just noticed this okay so there's a 20 millimeter a 12 millimeter a 15 millimeter a 9 millimeter and then hmm, a seven millimeter but what I just noticed is they all have names this is mischievous brat brat tamer is the 12 mil playful brat is a 15 mil and spoiled brat is a nine millimeter and then the seven is the HBIC which um, I'm old and if that has some oh wait a minute okay hold on I'm old but I ain't that old I just remembered what that means and hell yeah that is so, I love it. I just now saw all that. So that is so cool. Because, you know, brats with attitude. I love it. I love it. So these are what I won. And let's look at this, uh, the spoiled brat. So they are super fine, and it's going to be great for line work. 
So I'm not going to use those right now because these are like my pride and joy right now. So when I use these, I'm going to make sure I take really good care of them and always put your good liners back in the, the case. That's the reason they come in the case is so you can put them back in there. So you want to make sure you do that. Okay, so this is our second coat of the electric lemon. It did pucker a little bit, but that's because, once again, operator error, no fault of the um, product. So I think, uh, let me see here. No, let's do this. Let's let's do let's do this gloss. No, that's a base coat, Virginia. Okay, so this is the glossy. I don't know if we can fix this girl, but this glossy, she thick. And not, it's not glossy. I'm so sorry. It's diamond. She's diamond. I mean, you know, if you're gonna call her, call her the right name. Okay, so I'm putting it on here a little thick because I got that boo boo. I'm gonna clear up. But look at that. And if you're gonna do nail art. And you're doing you know you can fix things see she smoothed that all out you can still tell if you know but if you don't know you don't know and if you're gonna do artwork on it you know there are certain things in life to get upset about and if you're gonna do artwork and cover it up anyway don't sweat it look at that oh, didn't totally fix it but you know it's salvageable like for me for us at home girls that are saving ourselves a buck. So I'll put that back in there. And um, so I don't know if you can see them all laid out here because I've got my little, my little janky hearts that are trying to keep me in frame. And we'll see how this ends up being. But you know what? I'm going to post it anyway because we all start somewhere and I'm hopefully in a year and a half. I will have a setup and I will be doing so much better at all of this um, social media or the cameras and stuff. And even if I'm not, oh well. Um, and also before I want to end, I want to give a big shout out to Miss Addie. She is a follower of Britt Brat, and she's been kind of getting out of her comfort zone. She's, um, an under 18 subscriber. We'll just put it like that. And she was afraid to post some stuff on her t YouTube channel. And we told her, me and Brittany both said, just go for it. And, you know, people are afraid of people who are going to make fun of them and stuff. And, I, you know... I have come to the conclusion in my life that people make fun of people because they're lacking. So we've encouraged Miss Addie to do Miss Addie, and I cannot wait to see where she her journey ends. Um, she was talking the other night about doing nails. I said, "Go for it, baby girl. You do you." But like, there's always going to be haters, and if they're hating on you, they're leaving somebody else alone. That's what my mom used to always tell me. My shoulders were broad. And I can handle it. Did I always think I could handle it? No. And my shoulders were broad, but sometimes it gets, you know, but I, I'm, I'm telling you, people that have to be mean to other people have issues of their own. So I just have learned in life, I just, I feel sorry for them and I pray for them because how miserable do you have to be to tear somebody else down who's doing something that they love? And I used to be a miserable person, so I can say that. I've been there. When you're miserable, you want everybody else to be miserable. So, we're going to circle back around to the, <laughs> to the colors because I have no, you know, psychology degree, but school of hard knocks gets you further than you think. So, I just want to say that I love this collection. It is called Brats in Paradise. It is by Brit Brat Nailed It. She has... Um, Several. She has the Cat's Eye collection. She has the Brat's Eye, Brats in Paradise collection, and her Super Base collection, which is on my radar. And she does have other colors, but she is a small business that's starting out, and she's gathering more and doing more. So, I want to say thank you to everybody for staying tuned and hanging with me on my nail journey. Um, this is Mama L, and if you're watching Nori, I'm going to give you all Nori hearts. If you watch Brittany. She has uh, kids, and her youngest is always Nori Hearts. So uh, I just want to say thank you. Um, nails has been a stress outlet for me. It keeps me sane, 
and I'm just glad that I've got a nail community that supports me and we're all about lifting each other up. I want to say bye. Uh, Mama L loves you and I hope you have a good rest of the week. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. I appreciate it. Bye my fishes.